what's up guys it's my bench day today and I don't think I've actually told you guys that I've changed my bench form a lot um, a few years ago especially just 2013 14 I, I was really benching really narrow and really explosively but uh, that led me to end up getting a few pec strains and to avoid straining my pec again I've really widened my grip I'm flaring my elbows out a little bit more and um, just basically benching a whole lot differently than I used to. So we've gone back in time almost a year. 300, seven sets of five. As you can see, a um, bit of uh, leg drive with every single rep. Um, the harder it was, a little bit more leg drive. Uh, but at the same time, not the kind of leg drive that you do or get when you actually pause the uh, the weight on your body. So, um, yeah, lots of tucking, uh, really explosive off the body, and obviously no pausing, as you can see. This is how I liked to bench, and for a really long time, this is just how I did it. Uh, I preferred it this way, so I kept with it. Obviously kept with it until... Uh, at the end of this month, at the end of October 2014, I think that was when my uh, little pec strain occurred that uh, kind of took me out of the game for several, several months in terms of the bench press. I didn't bench for several months. Um, I think it actually happened on the, the next workout after this one. But uh, No, no, actually it happened on the next cycle, uh, the next uh, training cycle. I'll real quickly kind of show you the way I used to be benching. And uh, it was really a narrow grip, so the way I used to do it, come here and, and show them real quick. I quite often do as wide as fingers touching the soft, and on the narrower side, I do maybe like maybe about half a half of my digit right here into the soft. So average would be like something like this. And I was keeping my toes on the ground, put my heels in the air like this. And uh, this is what my bench looked like. So show them from all different angles, please. A lot like this. Whereas uh, nowadays I'm benching with my finger on the ring. Right here, it almost looks like this. And I'm also uh, I'm taking my feet a little bit further towards the opposite of my head. And I'm benching a lot more like this. So a lot more, a lot more flare. And I'm also pausing on every single rep. Actually starting to work my way out to finger outside of that room too. Kind of like how it feels. There's some pretty big differences. It's like I've noticed that with a narrow grip, um, it really seemed like I'd either get a rep or I wouldn't get a rep. But with a uh, wider grip, I'm, I feel like I. I'm using just a lot more muscles to, to push that bad boy up and it's like I there's a lot more grinding in terms of a, a lift. It's more of a grind than a really technical miss or, or hit it type of thing. And I think you guys will see what I mean as I start adding more weight. So I'm gonna put 25 on. And, uh, the other big difference is I actually do a warm up set with uh, 95 pounds these days too. So start really light and I'll do like eight reps of this so not only do I do the bar for a set or two I'll do 95 pounds for a set of like five or six seven eight reps okay done this right here is 255 for a single goes up really nicely um, here's 275 for a single and the thing is the, the interesting thing is I haven't even been trying to be explosive with my reps but with, um, with wider grip, which I'm doing here, or for me, wider grip, 
it's so crazy. It's as if I just press a button on the wall, like you turn the light switch on, and then the light just comes on. It's as if, like, <laughs> it feels as if there's practically no effort for some reason for me to do wider um, grip bench press, like wide for me, of course, compared to the narrow grip. It just feels so easy, and I'm beating myself up because it's like, why didn't I just uh, do this sooner? Or why didn't I experiment with this sooner? Uh, because I would be, uh, I may have never had that pec issue, and I may be benching even much bigger weights than this. So this is 295 for paused reps. Uh, some reps are um, touch and go-ish, I'd say. Some reps are definitely paused. Some reps are paused for longer than others. So I've been trying to, to pause each one for a nice one Mississippi on the chest. Um, and uh, lately, I, I, in some sessions of my bench press, I've even been doing like a two Mississippi uh, pause on the last rep or so, or even on some reps. So it just depends. Um, I would, I, I can't tell you which session this is coming into long or the, into the wide grip bench. This may be like the uh, the sixth or seventh, maybe just the sixth, seventh or eighth session. Um, maybe yeah, more like six. This is probably the sixth or seventh time getting back into bench pressing in this sort of way. Um, I started off with just 185. Um, I think from there I did uh, either 195 or 205. From there I did 225. And then from there I jumped straight to like 275 for a few, for, for a few workouts. Did 285 for a workout, did 295. And I think this is maybe the third time doing uh, 295. So. Or maybe the second time doing 295. But uh, I finally conquered 295 with pause reps for a 5x5 five five with a pretty minimal um, leg drive with less arch than I've done previous years. Um, and just using a lot more of my muscles <laughs> to push this weight. So it's definitely a good feeling. It's uh, It feels like I'm actually using muscle <laughs> to put this weight up. And the interesting thing is it feels easier. It feels much easier than my narrower grip, than my explosive off the body pressing. It, it, it's, it's really hard for me to kind of put into words uh, how different this feels compared to how I used to bench uh, in the previous clips that you just saw me do. But I think this is the way for me. For those wondering about my rotator cuffs, I, I haven't been experiencing any sort of like negatives. Um, I do feel like my pecs get get worked more. Um, more than ever now, though, I will be making sure that pretty much every upper body session I'm going to be doing, you know, face pulls, rear delts, and whatnot. Uh, so not forgetting to do that since I am um, putting my shoulders and my rotator cuffs a little bit more at risk than they had used to be. Uh, another thing is, uh, I don't know if I mentioned this already, but more pec stimulation on my bench press which is awesome because I would love to use more chest so my, my chest has been growing with this way of doing it um, and in terms of my triceps you guys know that I've been really um, really breaking up my arms lately so it, it's it's a give and a take with how I'm bench pressing now it's a little bit less tricep a little more chest and shoulder obviously weight a lot just a lot more chest um, and I've been adding, uh, I've added the arm work for this past few months and my arms feel like they've, they've come up just slightly. They're growing slowly, just really slowly growing. So I uh, did two sets of these pull-ups right here. Then I did uh, two or three sets of these pull-downs just like this. I, I have a tutorial, uh, a little video on this of how I like to do these. I like to get a pause at the bottom and slow on the way up. Um, get a really nice stretch at the top and uh, just control this thing and that's a, that's kind of something i've been doing more and more lately is just really controlling the weights that i've been using more than ever um i i think i guess it's just something as i get older I, i've just decided to control the weights a little bit more um it, it gives me it gives me more room for improvement because you can only go so much more in weight on exercises but it's almost like you could infinitely improve them in terms of form and in terms of increasing the time under tension, the uh, total required time of the exercise, of the concentrics, the eccentrics, and uh, the pauses at the top or bottom. So there's so many different ways to improve. Um, find which ways you like to do best, 
in a safe and comfortable manner and just milk the gains out. Just milk the gains out. Here's Megan doing her thing. Um, for those uh, interested in following a woman and her journey to, uh, you know, gains, definitely check her out. I'll put her link in the uh, description box for you guys, okay? So definitely check that out. Uh, warming up with my overhead press here, just doing 95. I, I do the bar for, you know, 5 to 10 reps. I do 95 for 5 reps, uh, 135. And then uh, today I was doing 200 pounds, so... I did, you know, the 135, and then I did 165, and then I did uh, 200 for sets of five. Previous workout was 195 for sets of six. Pretty much the same thing with my bench press. I've been widening my grip on the overhead press a little bit uh, for a few different reasons, but one mostly so I can kind of turn this more into a grinding movement. I don't mean like grinding my gears or anything. I mean. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you don't really grind my gears. This movement less like an Olympic lift where the technique has to be perfect and more into a lift where I can just kind of strongman my way into a, or through a rep. Not that I'm throwing technique out the window. In fact, I have, I'm having to um, constantly work on my technique. But I feel like certain people are going to understand what I mean. But when I. Mostly probably because the bottom of the bench press, obviously the bottom at the top. There's a lot of spring with the uh, triceps um, to push you up, but uh, widening my grip, it's kind of forcing me to engage just more my musculature into the lift. Uh, whereas, like I said, same thing with a narrower bench with a narrower um, OHP, I found that. Um, each rep feels more like a uh, Olympic lift than something that I can kind of work my way through, if that makes sense. So that's kind of why I've been widening my grip a little bit, uh, changing my technique. And uh, for bench press, it's definitely helped. For the overhead press, it's st I'm starting to feel the benefits of having getting used to this wider grip. So it's definitely, um, it's definitely different, for sure. One thing I want to point out real quick is just how calm I lift these days. And uh, it's interesting because a handful of months ago, it was something I decided to do where I tried to intentionally just calm myself down, not allow myself to get hyped. And that just didn't work. I had crappy workouts and I had to hype myself. Whereas now, and I'll get to my point in a second. Last one kind of got ahead of me. So I gotta focus on pushing it straight up from the mid foot up. So I'm gonna focus out, focus on that on my next set. So like I was uh, saying, I tried to intentionally completely change how high I had been uh, approaching every set, right? Majority of my compound lifts, oh, and this is Megan. On um, the majority of my compound lifts, I would super hype myself and I got into the, the, the mode of having to need to do that such that when I tried to eliminate it cold turkey, um, it was really, really, really difficult, really difficult to uh, just get rid of hyping myself before uh, big lifts and even all lifts. But I don't know how, but this uh, somewhere in this past month, I've been able to like not require myself to lift at specific times in certain songs. I mean, I still listen to my favorite songs, but it's it's like I don't need that Eminem verse in you know forever to to go ham on a set. Like I don't have to jump around like a crazy person. Like I would always have to do before squats or deadlifts or bench to hit my set. And as you can see here, I'm just like calm as hell. I am just calm. I mean, granted, this isn't you know. I think I've worked up to like 225 for for triples before. I've done 230. I've I've done practically two. I think I've done like 235 for triples. For like 10 sets of three around there um, on the OHP now this isn't that heavy granted but um I'm just it's it's really cool that lately I've just been slowly migrating into lifting without having to make myself go crazy before a set 
And it's funny because it wasn't something that I intentionally um, tried force my, forcing myself to do. It just kind of came on its own. It's really weird. I don't know how it happened, but it somehow kind of came on its own. And I, I couldn't tell you, I couldn't even recommend how you could get that for yourself if that's something you were going for. It's just sometimes things just need to organically and um, just naturally change. Uh, sometimes you just can't force things and that's kind of how th things have changed for me like I'm able to hit you know 500 pound deadlifts for a set of eight uh, just recently without even getting crazy before it um, and it's definitely uh, I think that's something that's gonna help me in the long run uh, definitely so I normally do really heavy dumbbell rows, you know, 120s for 10 to 15 reps or whatever. But uh, I was experimenting with slow uh, eccentrics and concentrics on this, and I was just liking the way it felt. Um, pretty much after this, I just kind of crossfitted biceps and triceps because we had to go and pick up our Chipotle because uh, we were starting to run late. That's it for this, guys. Uh, please like this video, show some support, leave a comment, subscribe, follow me on all social media, pretty much Matt Ogus on everything, and I will see you guys in the next video. Quit me a little bitch! Ogus cake!